guys, this is Teddy and welcome back to episode 7 of my Shipwreck Survival Island. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And as you can see, we are currently in the dead of night in our little turtle sanctuary. Uh, in the hope that one of these guys is going to be hatching for us. And this one is the one most likely to hatch, but I'm not sure we're going to get lucky right now. So while we're waiting for that to happen, let's go across what's going to happen in today's episode. Now, I did speculate in the last episode that the tree farm behind me is kind of in the wrong place. And I kind of want to be building stuff and things in where that tree farm happens to be. So, that's going to be the first project of the day. So, I want to expand our island so we can put our tree farm somewhere else completely. And in the process of doing that, I kind of want to make a bit of a bay for where our new ship is going to get built because so i'm planning on building a ship at some point in this series and then it'll give me also, also give me space to actually build something around our nether portal because at the moment it well it's kind of ugly i'm not going to deny it it's kind of ugly and i want to kind of make it look a bit prettier so that's what we're going to do today we are going to get into this thing and we're going to get started on expanding our island and making the bay so i'll cut away here and i'll come back to you guys when i've got a little bit to show off Alrighty, so a little bit of time has passed well i say a little bit quite a bit of time has passed things look a little bit different over here so this is where we're going to put our tree farm now i want to have a little bit of a beach on this side and believe it or not i kind of want to put the acacia trees on the beachy section um i'll be tidying up this area over here a little bit because these trees they, they're kind of taking over a little bit over here but yeah we need to tidy that up i need to get rid of quite a bit of the sand on this side of the island and return this all to grass and just so you guys got an idea of what i've been doing i actually built this all with netherrack so this thing down here is completely hollow let me just break in and i'll show you what i mean and yeah so this is completely hollow and I've got myself a little conduit floating around in here just because I'm working underwater quite a lot. So I figured having a conduit down here would be a very, very good idea. So run over this side and I'll show you what's going on this side as well. Now, all the gravel has now gone from this side completely. Let's go back in here so we can see. Yeah, so all the gravel has completely gone to a point. I'm leaving the odd bit of stone... I'm leaving, you know, that sort of stuff showing up. But I eventually want to get most of this turned over to sand. Like all this stuff here. I want to bury the pillars in sand. I want to follow the sand all the way through. Surround this island with sand. And it's going to be a very sandy area. Now, my reasoning, guys. My reasoning for this is I want to have a deep ocean um, coral reef. So I'm going to have to go and collect myself quite a fair amount of coral. And I'm going to have to get myself sea pickle farm going. I'm going to have to get myself a ton of fan coral stuff. And it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. But I'm going to continue on with streaming this for now. I'm not going to sit here and put you guys through me doing this. If you guys want to get put through this, then please come over to Teddy Legend Gaming over on Twitch. And I will uh, show you how what it's like over there as well. But uh, for now, I'm going to continue working on this thing, and I'll be back with you in a bit. So, stream has now finished, and what a stream it was. It was amazing, guys. Thank you so much for all who turned up. Now, as you guys can see behind me, things look a little bit different. I did get a lot done in stream. Let's quickly run over here, and I'll have a little demo of what has been going on. As you can see, the interior bay side is now actually done on the sense that I've got all the sand in, we've got all the grass in, and we've got our tree farm moved over here. Now, I still want this to look kind of natural, so I've got dark oak planted up over here, which I just need to put a few more of those down. So let's quickly drop a few more dark oak trees. So we got a bit more wood growing, although to be fair at this point, we don't particularly need it. We, we we got quite a bit of wood. This chocolate box is absolutely full of wood. So wood is not something I am running short of at this point in time. But it's always good to have more growing for when we do need it. I also need to run across and put some more jungle saplings down as well. 
Now, I'm not planning on building with jungle. I use jungle mainly to make chests and anything else I needed to make a lot of wood with because they're really good trees to make big builds with, basically. And for all my redstone stuff I've got planned in the future, having the jungle trees will be extremely handy. Um, let's put it on here. Lovely. So, what else have I been doing on stream? I've got my spruce area kind of cut down to a lower level, and as you can see, they're all gone, all cleared away. And it's looking really absolutely fantastic. Let's grab my rockets up here. So, I can go a quick flight and show you guys what our island looks like now. Because, wow, it has changed a lot since I started this world. It really has changed a massive amount since the start of this world. And if you guys are playing along, you'll know just how much I have made this thing change. So it's looking really cool. And this is really good area for a ship to put in. So I'm just looking around and there are a few more bits I want to get done. I haven't completely got rid of all the sand over this side as yet. There's still a bit that needs to be taken care of. So I want all this bit to be gone. I want it all to be grass. And even potentially stretch my birch trees out as far as here. Not birch. They're spruce trees, Teddy. They're not birch trees on this part. So we still need to get some acacia trees. We don't have any of them yet. Um, I do think I need to extend the beach a little bit over here. And we've got a couple of friendly turtles. Can't they say hello? Hi, guys. So, yeah, I want to extend the beach a little bit over here. Just to try and get the uh, acacia trees in place. But other than that, this whole area is looking really quite cool. I have got a lot to do underwater still. It's still looking about the same as it was in the last clip. So I need to get that done. I need to go gather a load of sand. Which will probably be the next job. So I can get this side of the island covered with sand. And then after I've got all the sand in place. I am going to move on to getting my nether portal. Kind of better situated. Now, it's going to take quite a lot of building, and I'm going to have to break another portal, but I'm going to have to remember the coordinates so I can put it back exactly where it was. And the plan with this is I'm going to be basically getting rid of all of this, building this up so it's quite a steep cliff, and then we're going to have a little, like, a hill coming up to the nether portal. And I'm going to blend in, like, basalt and blackstone and netherrack and maybe some nylium stuff as well. To try and make it so the nether portal is kind of up here. And I think that's going to look really quite cool. So that is going to be our next job. We're going to start work on our nether portal. Before I start work on the nether portal. I have to go to the nether and gather supplies to build another portal. So that is my next cut. The job's got to be done guys. So I just have made a cut away again. Get some materials together. And I'll come back to you when I'm ready to start on the nether portal. Alrighty. So some time has now passed. And it doesn't look much different from this side, but I've also been working on the outside of the bay, getting all that polished off, so to speak. And I decided on the last stream while doing that, I was going to do a bit of exploring, because I went to go find a jungle. So we went and found a jungle. Got ourselves some bamboo. And we got quite a few other things in Bob's as well. We got ourselves God Apple, which I'm neither ever going to eat that i'm actually going to make a banner with that and get the achievement because that's the hardest achievement to get in the game and yeah i found a couple of um desert temples one of which actually had a spider spawner within the temple that was interesting i also found a shipwreck in a ice bike biome an ocean ice bike biome and i found that very interesting as well so if i remember i will put a pic of both of those in the video and i'll let you guys have a little look at them while i'm chatting Along with that, guys, I've also got most of the stuff I need to do on Nether Portal. Now, I don't have any of the Nidium stuff. I haven't yet been brave enough to go flying through the Nether. That didn't end well last time. Just, just saying. So, I'm going to start with that. And I might add some Nidium bits to it as and when we get to that point. But, for now, I'm going to collect some of this stuff up. As you can see, I've got some shulker boxes of the stuff we're going to need to get started. And I'll head over there and I'll see you guys when I get there. Alrighty, so supplies have been gathered, and I'm now at the point where I need to take down the old portal. So I actually did decide to go back into the nether one more time, 
and I've got myself quite a fair amount of stuff. I started taking down a bit of the Nether Fortress. Um, I found a Bastion as well as finding a Walked Forest and a Crimson Forest. So I've got quite a lot of good stuff, including 40 Gilded Blackstone, which will come in very handy for this build. I've also got myself some red glass, some orange glass, and a little bit of yellow glass as well. Um, and a few other bits and bobs in here. Now, I need the grass, obviously, for building up some of the side of it. I've got stone for building up the inside of it, and netherrack for covering some of the outside. So, it's going to look pretty good, and I really probably should be sleeping at this point in time, because it's raining. So, let's get that out of the way. And I'll quickly give a quick idea of what i'm planning for this now the portal may move back a few blocks to somewhere like here um basically what i want to do is this piece is going to be going away completely i'm going to probably extend the beach forwards a bit this side just because it's a little bit cut off in this corner here and i don't really like that but the idea i'm going to do is going to be building up from the natural sand and stuff down here bringing it up into uh, basalts and then building the basalt all the way up maybe throw a few magma blocks in here and there kind of make it feel like a bit of basalt delts is blown through into the overworld with some nether rack mixed in maybe some quartz maybe some gold um i'm not fully decided yet but i'm kind of my picture from this side my picture from this side is we're gonna have a blackstone staircase nicely decorated coming up and then we're going to have another kind of roundish portal, is what I'm, go, what I'm going to try and go for. It's not so easy to make a round portal, I'll have to start with a square one and then round it off afterwards. And then coming off the top of that, I kind of want the fire kind of look going on with the yellow, orange and red glasses. And I do think that's going to look really cool. So I'm going to crack on. I need to take this portal down and I need to start getting some other bits and bobs set up, including filling up the hill. So let me crack on with that and I'll see you guys in a little while. Alrighty guys, so things are looking a little bit different now. As you guys can see, I've done quite a bit of work. Um, I haven't finished this by a long way yet. I still got to put the path in. So let's remove a little bit of some of this blackstone. Kind of this end I want to leave as is. And as we get nearer the portal, I'm just going to pull away some of this. So we're going to go something along the lines of this little design here. Now it's going to have little bits of actual proper blackstone around the edges. Just to kind of fill in the gaps. Have I got any actual smooth? No I don't. Let's make a tiny bit of that. Throw in a little bit of the smooth stuff here and there. Nice, nice. And then for them two blocks we've got left. Let's throw in a couple of the gilded blackstone just because it looks really quite funky and that gives you a rough idea of what i'm going for on this path now turning it and making it come this way is not the easiest thing in the world to do i could probably expand it out this way a little bit but i'm kind of thinking i'm going to change some of this out for nylium and i'm not satisfied with this being the gilded blackstone i have other plans for the gilded blackstone that's better so with the gilded blackstone what i'm going to do I'm going to pull out the occasional blocks from in here. So, like, this one here can be gone. Hopefully, I didn't go into the nether. And then just throw the occasional gilded blackstone in here. Because I think that would probably look a bit better than having it on the floor. And, yes, it does. So, I'm going to do a bit more of that. I'm going to throw a bit more gilded in. I'm going to start figuring out how we're going to do the top part of this. I'm also going to sleep to try and get rid of the rain. I don't know if it's nighttime or not. That's the crafting table. That's the ender chest. And that's the bed. Well done, Teddy. We're going to get some more work done on this thing. See if I can get this glass feature working. Get a bit of nylium in place. If I've got space to put a nylium tree, then I will. If not, I'm just going to have a little bit of colour added in with a bit of nylium. But I'll cut back to you guys in a bit when I've got a bit more done. Okay, I've just taken a step away from the nether project because our turtles have hatched, or at least some of them have. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab myself a little bit of seagrass. And we're going to feed up some of our little baby turtle friends and see if we can get a few scoots out of these things. 
Hopefully 48 should be enough to get these things to grow. There's one scoot. We need five for a helmet. And apparently we're going to breed them as well. Because why not? So I'll, get, I'll quickly uh, hang around here and get these last couple fed up. We've got ourselves three scoots already. Now these aren't like important to have when you've got netherite and all that sort of stuff going on but i kind of i've never had one i've never had a turtle helmet that i've got the achievement for having it so and there we go they have all grown up we have got five scoots awesome and we're gonna get a load more eggs as well because they're all in the process of mating and producing me more turtley friends oh do you want another piece okay come here there you go no, we don't want more. Fine. So we'll throw them back in there. We'll dispose of this spider. No, he's disposed himself. Cool. Um, you're, you're kind of glitching through the wall, buddy. Just, just saying. And uh, yeah, these guys are now gonna plot. They're now gonna lay a load more eggs for me, so we're gonna get even more eggs. The whole rest of these are on the verge of hatching, which is gonna mean we're gonna have a lot more babies in a minute. But it's fine. Everything's fine, guys. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, I've got 70 levels. Now you can put, you can put the turtle helmet in to the enchantment table, which is really quite cool. So we're going to do that. We're going to go and enchant our helmet and see what we get. And what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We got blast protection. That's not the best thing in the world. I think I want that one, mate. Oh, I've got a book somewhere. Uh, Depth Strider 3. That could be handy. Fortune Unbreaking as well. Nice. Nice little selection. Protection 4 will do me. Oh, we didn't get any Aqua Affinity. Anyway, let's get back to the um, to another portal. So I thought I'd quickly take a little fly just to see what this thing looks like from outside of the island. And it looks pretty awesome, guys. It really does. So I'm really quite happy how this is coming along. Anyway, I thought I'd quickly fly in and show you that. And now back to the glass. So here I am back over at the ship because I thought it would give me a better view of the progress we've made with our glass feature. And it, it hasn't really turned out like fire, but it, it looks pretty cool. Let's just uh, have a little fly over in the direction. Not up there, please. I don't want them up there. But it does kind of look pretty cool. I know it's raining right now, but it does look pretty cool even with the rain going on. So I'm very happy with this. It looks more like a flower, granted. But it looks like a kind of nethery, fiery flower that's kind of broken out and has taken over our portal. So I'm quite happy with how that's looking. And unfortunately, I've also run out of time for this episode today. Now, beginning of the episode, I mentioned this is episode 7. It's not. It's episode 8. So... Teddy is a derp. But I will thank you all for coming out today. If you've enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. And if you really loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye for now.